Hey, hi. Happy Easter. I'm recording this video on an Easter Sunday. This is because uh, this video is probably the most important video and I don't want to delay this video at all. It's about how to improve your US visa success rate. Very, very important. Okay. This I'm sharing because of the lot of Zoom one-on-one -on -one meeting I had with a lot of you guys where you shared what happened with your visa profile, what questions were asked, and I felt there were a lot of mistakes that were done. So I thought this video is important so that you don't repeat these mistakes. Okay. So that's why this video is important. My name is Richard Lascado. I'm an MBA with 23 years of study abroad counseling experience. And we do full study abroad counseling for all countries, US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Europe, or any other country of your choice. We do counseling from seventh grade onwards, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, bachelor's, master's, MBA, and doctorate. And we do almost for all programs. So if you are interested in our counseling services, then you can click on the link in the description, book an appointment, understand your profile, and you can register for our counseling services. Similarly, if you have any difficulties in your study abroad and you want to discuss your profile or your visa profile, you can use the same link. Okay. So before I go ahead with the videos, I want to share some important thing which I felt when the Zoom one-on-one -on -one I came across with many of them. First, if you want to book a Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment, the link is in the description. You don't have to uh, contact me. You don't have to contact my staff for this. Okay. This is a free service. The first appointment is free. Okay. So you can plan all your questions and ask me in this particular appointment. I will answer all your questions. I will not say that no. So only one question, two question, three question. You can ask all your questions. You can empty yourself with all your doubts and I will try to answer them. Okay. The objective is that you should get your visa, that you should get your visa, right? So this is the objective that we are having this service because lot and lot of students are getting refused because they don't understand the process at all. They don't understand why there is a U.S. visa interview, how to prepare for the U.S. visa interview and how to go about to then the entire process. Okay. Some basically information is available on Google. Some information is available on YouTube. And with that, you feel that you are able to do it yourself. Ideally, you are not. Why? Because you need a counselor. You need an expert who can guide you. This is a specialized subject. This is very, very specialized subject. Right? You cannot do it on your own. And many students take the risk of doing it from their own and they get refused. And then they basically cry. It is ideally penny-wise pound foolish. When you're spending lakhs and lakhs for your study abroad, to get a counselor, an expert who can guide you in the entire process is very, very important. It's like buying an insurance cover for yourself in for study abroad. So very important that you need to have a study abroad counselor if you want to improve your visa chances, if you want to get admission, if you want to get scholarships, if you're looking for various other things that you have in your profile, you need a study abroad counselor. Okay. The next is when you are going to have Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment, you have to understand that this may go on YouTube channel as well. Okay. So don't tell me that basically, oh, sir, I don't want to basically, don't put it on YouTube channel. I am doing good. I'm not charging any fees. And I don't want that same questions can come you know, to me again and again from different students. If your video can help others, why not? Okay. So if you want to share, share with that intention. Finally, if you have something to share, which you want to, don't want to basically come in the video, let me know in the end that you have specific questions. I will answer all your questions. Don't worry about it. But don't say that, don't put my video. Don't say that I want to cover my face. Okay. I am talking to general people and I am basically showing my face. I am very genuine in my concern. So I don't want that basically you have to feel anything worried. Okay. 
it is good intention i always believe do good so that good things can happen to you and this has for me it has always happened so when you are doing good don't basically you know avoid by saying that okay i don't nobody remembers basically you know your mistakes that things people like to learn i also made thousands of mistakes in my life i learned from those mistakes and that's why i'm sharing all those mis- things with you this 23 years of study abroad constant experience is all about learning that i have received which i am sharing it with you that how to answer the visa officer questions right so feel free and uh, to basically ask your questions ask as many plan the first appointment is free not you don't book many appointments why because i can't give one person many slots i can't do that i don't have much of my time as well i want to cover as many students so when you book a first appointment plan yourself ah, plan all your questions ask it on that particular appointment okay so these are few things that i'm going to oh, wanted to share with you when you are booking the appointment with me okay and now let's come to the main question the question is how to improve your us visa success rate so first and foremost very very important is how you present yourself okay so see that you have shaved say that you are basically well present and well dressed you know don't go with basically with too much of clothing you know wear suit boot nobody wants that you know why they can they can see the real you the visa officer wants to see see the real you not the fake you so don't fake yourself don't fake with unnecessary basically wearing something that you are not comfortable where you know you don't you have to look like a student you have to look like a student you don't have to look like a professional you don't have to look like you know with suit boot and everything you don't have to look like that okay but you have to basically be presentable you know if basically don't use very strong perfumes don't use you know very flashy clothes you know it's okay if you want if that's what you are but be if you are you know you know don't buy new shirts new trousers and new thing you know and you you can ca- go with your clothes that you have okay and you can be there and you can answer the question that's the ideal way in terms of basically presenting yourself second you need to be very clear concise and basically you need to explain your answers well you need to speak well you have to have a good english proficiency okay so if you are if you are going up uh, for an interview and you halt a lot in between that's not a good answer okay you if you say uh, if you say uh, if you pause if you uh, you know uh, your eyes move here that you're not looking at the visa officer okay that is not a good answer you have to look at the visa officer even if the visa officer is not looking at you look at the visa officer okay and look with full genuineness okay not with that wicked look or wicked smile or you know don't do that look with genuine be genuine when you are going to the visa office don't feel, show that oh this question i have answered huh? i am prepared don't give that look be genuine answer it genuinely answer from your heart okay so these are very very important things okay the next is the first question that the visa officer is going to ask is the most important question for your visa success the most important question for your visa success if you answer this question well then your visa success rate is very very high you have very very high visa success rate. the first question that they ask okay that question is now normally that question is why us normally that question is why us so be prepared with this answer why us so before you answer this you have to know what you have written in your ds160 if your answer is not consistent with your ds160 you will have a problem okay the visa officer will know that this is not you because you have written something here and you are saying something else 
So know what you have written in your data. I know many of them basically don't know what is written. Somebody else fills the DS-160. You should be knowing what is written in your DS-160. All my students know what is written in their DS-160. I prepare them accordingly. So know what you have, know what is written in the DS-160. Very, very important. Okay. So that you can answer accordingly. The, when you say why US, you have to also have, know what are your profile highlights. You have received some scholarship, you have done some research work. What is it that is basically strong point of yourself that you want to put in this answer? That tells the visa officer that you are a genuine student. You can tell about the program that you are want to do is not much available in your home country or the research is not much available in your home country. It's a very specific knowledge. Talk about specific information. Don't give general answers. Don't say US, US is a leading country providing quality education. Degree of US is well known. International degree and international exposure made me to apply for US. Very, very general answer. Very, very general answer. Be specific in saying, sir, I have received a scholarship of $10,000 from this, this university. This university has uh, research in microscope uh, biology uh, and this research is not much available in my own country. I have done good correspondence, Professor Ketan of this university who is doing research in this particular project and he is happy to basically have me in this particular program. Okay, Be very sp specific, specific in your answers. When you are specific, the visa officer is going to get convinced more. So be very specific based on your profile. Okay. So when you are going to answer this question, don't try to answer it in a very short way. You know why USA? For study. The visa officers know that, that you have come for the interview for study purpose. So if you are not leading the visa officer to trying to give him many things that you want to do when you are going to study in US, you would lose the opportunity. So try to lead to the visa officer why you want to basically do it. So that the visa officer knows that you have doing and accordingly can ask some questions and you get your visa. So this is the most important video because this video, if you are going to you know, go through again and again, understand it and then prepare your answer, you have a visa, high visa success rate. Now, for those students who have been refused once or twice or thrice, okay, ideally, the first time is the best time to get your visa, the best time, because you, the visa officer has no track record. You know, you're going there for the first time, the visa officer is there, and the visa officer will answer, your, uh, will ask you a question and you answer it well, and you have either. Once you have been rejected, then the visa officer basically knows that some visa officer has already made a decision on your profile. He has refused you. So he has then to decide whether he would like to go with that visa officer or whether he wants to overturn the decision of the earlier visa officer. So there is more risk in your second or third or fourth. Each time you get refused, the more the risk. Okay. So the first time is the best time. Now, in case you have refused, the first question that they will ask is, what additional documents that you have bought this time? I'm not, you know, generally don't basically, it is not necessary that the first question has to be why US or the, uh, for the new students and the, for refusal, the first question has, does not have to be basically always why, what additional documents have you bought this time? But generally, yes, these are the questions. Okay. So in that case, you need to have significant document that you are going to carry for your interview this time next time okay so you have to carry a significant document now that significant document may be your financial document where you have increased your funds okay where you have increased earlier you had carried twenty thousand dollars now you are carrying thirty thousand dollars you have increased ten thousand dollars funds in your saying bank account okay you have increased the sponsor by which way you have increased your fund you have got scholarship this time which you did not got it last time you have taken, uh, retaken your TOEFL or IELTS, you have improved your score, or you have taken your GMAT, GI, your SAT, and you have, which, we, which you have not taken last time. Okay. Or you have changed your university. Okay. 
and uh, the reason of change in university is significant so these could be significant reasons okay some of the significant reasons for the visa officer to reconsider your visa file you in case your profile has something else think about it what significant it is so if you know that and if you are going to answer again with clear concise and with right flow uh, proficiency of english you will have a good visa chance okay you will have a good visa success rate so use your first question the visa officer going to ask to your advantage that's what i'm going to telling you in this particular video use your first question that the visa officer is going to ask to your advantage by explaining by giving enough reasons by leading the visa officer to other parameters why you have selected so that the visa officer is convinced that you are a genuine student and your intention is to study in us do like share subscribe okay and do good so that good things happen to you take care